Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do a new unboxing of my most recent tool heads crate. So stay tuned. So before we get into this video, you guys are going to notice that I am wearing a Get the Bell on t-shirt. And I picked this up from the guys over at How Ridiculous and they were having a big sale and I got the shirt for like 15 bucks. But, do you know what the shirt really means? The shirt means hit that subscribe button right now and bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's dig in to this Toolheads crate. So one thing that I don't want to do here is I don't want to steal any thunder from guys like junk from work because he did an unboxing with the uh, Toolheads crate, his very first one, and uh, a very in-depth one. So I don't want to be that in-depth, but I do want to show you what's in these things. So for those of you who watch my channel and don't watch theirs, you'll kind of get an idea. So basically what the idea of this Toolheads crate is, is to get some, uh, some, some pretty cool stuff all in a box on a subscription basis through these guys, Toolhead Crate. And the people who are responsible for this are JRC54, Captain Ron, and Rust Belt Mechanic. I'll put their links in the description box below so you guys can go take a look and see what their channel is all about. So, without further ado, let's open the box. So, we open up and the first thing that we get is a basically another thank you letter for staying tuned to our subscription with Toolheads Crate. And we've got a business card. We'll find out who that's for later. This is what I like to see. I'm not saying that I paid $35 to have a box with a couple of shop rags in it, but you can never have enough shop rags. So this is the second and third one that I will have received from the Toolheads crate. And uh, I've already made use of the first one uh, on the uh, Mopar J-Heads project. So as you can see, this one is jam packed. It's got a lot more in it than the first one did. So I think, in my opinion, there's a little more value now uh, added to this. And uh, we're going to dig through some of these uh, tools here. So the first one that kind of jumps out at me is this butane pencil torch. Now, every time I go to do a wiring job, there's always an opportunity to do some soldering or some heat shrinking. And I never have a lighter. I'm a non-smoker. And uh, the only other thing that I have for a torch is a big propane torch for camping uh, or for doing uh, plumbing work. So sometimes those are too big to get into small areas. This one here is really going to come in handy. And of course with that we get a small little uh, 20 gauge solder. And we dig down in here a little bit deeper. And we've got ourselves an electric soldering iron. Now this is something that I don't have here at home. And uh, they're saying that this is a two in one tool. And uh, so it is a soldering and desoldering pump. So if you guys don't know what desoldering is, is when you're taking electronics apart, it gives you the opportunity to remove the solder from what you're working on so that you can pull out uh, some resistors or uh, transducers or canuder valves or those type of things out of the electrical device. And from CalHawk, again, we've got some uh, some heat shrink it looks like and there's all kinds of different colors there's some clear there's some red white blue american colors Merca. and uh, so those are going to come in handy because again i don't have this stuff at home it's always at the shop i'm not always at the shop working on uh, on some of these projects we've also got a uh, we've got a sticker here that says this is a safe toolbox for 10 millimeters so hopefully um, my 10 millimeters won't get up and walk away if I have this on my toolbox. Also a nifty pair of mini side cutters. Now I do have several different side cutters, but this one here um, is great for a lot of different things because it works as a shear. So it's, uh, it's flat on this one side and let's see if we can get it to focus here. There we go. So it's flat on the back side and it's kind of angled as well and uh, on the front side here so at least this way here when you cut something and uh, you know you, you give it a snip you know that the product's not going to go flying 
uh, chances are it's just going to drop off the back side. So that is a really, um, really neat tool. And this one is made by Play-Doh and not the stuff you eat. One more tool that we've got here is a nice set of wire stripper crimpers. And this will do, uh, you know, all three different major sizes, the red, the blues, and the yellows. And uh, it looks like it's got a locking feature on it here as well to keep it closed. Uh, it does have a cutter as well as um, stripping wires as, and uh, some crimping action going on here. So uh, I've never seen this style before, but it looks like it's got a long handle on the back here. So you're going to be able to get some really good leverage uh, when it comes time to uh, crank on those crimp uh, connectors for whatever electric project that you're doing. I do need another one of these because uh, the set that I have has seemed to have gotten up and walked away. And what looks to be last but not least is yet another Tool Heads t-shirt. I'm going to move the box out of the way just for a moment. And as we uh, unveil this, of course I'm an extra large, so there's the front. And in the back, a very promising note that says missing 10 millimeter socket. If found, please return to the owner of this shirt. So guys, once again, when I got this box, I was super excited. How excited you might ask? The new phone book's here! The new phone book's here! Yes, I was that excited. And knowing that when these boxes get shipped, they get shipped with the label right on the front as well as on the end so that anywhere that this box travels, somebody is going to look at this and wonder what's inside. And hopefully that they will be able to do a quick little Google search and find their very own subscription that the tool heads create and uh, get their very own. I'm looking forward to the next set because every single tool that came in this bundle as well as the t-shirt all will come in handy with some of the things that I'm doing. As most of you know, I've got a car that has some air conditioning issues as well as no cruise control and we do plan on wiring those up hopefully sometime this year. So all of that is certainly going to come in handy. And one last thing before we go, I'm going to put a link right up here to a good buddy of mine, Steve from Uzolu Garage, who does a lot of different detailing videos. I encourage you to go over and check him out. His channel is ever so close to that 1000 subscriber mark and your support would certainly help. So head on over there right now, check him out and tell him that old car auto guy sent you. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video of my tool heads crate and I hope that you will give it a big thumbs up as well as support those guys over there and join the subscription. There are four links in the description box where you can support my channel in other fashions rather than just watching these videos. The first one being bonfire.com where you can get your very own old car auto guy t-shirt. There's two to choose from. And I hope that you take a look at those. The second one being the Car Guy and Six Fan Show co-host, Straight Six Fan. You can head over to his channel, subscribe to him, and we alternate channels for doing a live feed on Thursday evenings, which starts at 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 Eastern, and 9 Local. Guys, that second t-shirt that I've offered on my bonfire.com store says this. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.